This is amazing. Now we have Claude for Google Sheets. This means you can automate any Excel file, CSV file, which is compatible with Google Sheets. You can make AI to automatically categorize your comments. You can make AI to automatically respond to your comments. You can automatically extract information from a description, automatically translate the words or sentence, create product description in the fly, reformat numbers and any other data, do sentiment analysis and much more. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Claude for Google Sheets. It's a Google Sheets add-on which you can directly install from Google Workspace Marketplace. I'm going to take you through step by step how you can automate and extract information from Google Sheets using the power of AI. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So the first step is to install Cloud for Google Sheets. Just click install and it will ask for permission. Then click continue. Once it get installed, the icon will change to uninstall. Then you can open Google Sheets. There in extensions, you can see Cloud for Sheets. There go to settings and then change your API key. Here you can enter your Anthropic API key, which you can generate from console.anthropic.com. There you provide the name for the key and create key. Then enter the key here and save it. You can even open Claude's Sheets and open sidebar. This will give other information. So for now, I'm going to close this. This is how you use it. Just type equals, then type Claude, and then first you need to provide the prompt. I'm going to choose this prompt. When was the US constitution written? Choosing that cell and then comma, then providing the model name. I'm going to use Claude 3 Sonnet. And then you can provide other parameters such as temperature. I'm going to choose one. That's it. Now I'm going to click enter. This will automatically talk to the large language model Claude and give us a response, which you can see here. The constitution was written in 1787 and it gives few more information. So this is the minimum requirement to run Anthropic Claude in your Google Sheet. Now we are going to automatically categorize the comments. I've already covered how to categorize this using Olama completely free locally from your computer, which I will link that in the description below. But for this, you might need to pay for Anthropic. You can see the previous auto categorization here. So here again, we are going to use the same prompt equals Claude then the prompt prompt is classify this comment and colon now i'm going to add this cell that is where my list of comments are then comma now we need to provide the model name which i'm going to choose this cell then i need to provide the system prompt system comma and this is the system prompt the system prompt says you are a helpful assistant designed to classify comments into neutral request question appreciation error or other must respond with one word. After entering these details, I'm going to click enter. Close the bracket and click enter. Now, this will automatically go through the list of comments. So now this is loading the prompt, which is the comments and using the system prompt to automatically categorize this cell. And you can see it's request. Now we need to modify this little bit. For example, we need to add a dollar before D, dollar before three, similarly, a dollar before D, dollar before five. This is so that when we drag this down, those system prompt and the model name will remain constant. So now I'm going to drag this down and it will automatically categorize all these comments. You can see for some it's request appreciation question, some it says deferred. So in that case, what you need to do is just choose the cells and click the extensions and then Claude there recalculate selected cells or you can even click this that will automatically recalculate all the deferred or error cells i'm going to choose this for now and now it's working it's loading again except one everything completed i'm going to choose only this and going to follow recalculate selected cells again and finally it's done so in this way you can drag this as much as you want even if you have thousand comments it can automatically categorize that for you now let's see how we can respond to these comments same as before here the instruction is write a response to this youtube comment so these are the list of comments which i received and i need to respond that 
automatically. So this Excel sheet will be like a quick way to prepare for my response. So here also I'm choosing a system prompt. That is, you are a helpful assistant designed to respond to YouTube comments. If you don't know, just say I don't know. Provide only the response. Response very short. Then I'm going to click enter. And here is the response. You are welcome. Glad you enjoyed it. And similarly, I'm going to pull this down. And this is going to automatically respond to all these comments. And you can see the response automatically populated. If anything deferred, you can do the same thing again. Ask Claude to recalculate the selected cells. Now the response is all done. It is taking a bit more time when the deferred message came, but still it's quite handy to automatically prepare your response. Next, let's extract information from these comments. So in my comments, there are a lot of tools mentioned or the softwares which I used was mentioned there. Now I need to extract only the tools mentioned in those comments. To do that, I'm going to ask equals Claude what tool mentioned here in this comment. And then providing a system message, you are a helpful assistant designed to extract tool names from YouTube comments. If there is no tool, just mention no tool. Provide only the tool names, response very short. And then clicking enter. Now it responded saying no tool. Now I'm going to drag this down. Now I can see in this comment, the Crew AI OpenAI Assistant tool mentioned. In this comment, Langchain is mentioned. Recalculating the deferred and it's all done now. Similarly, even there are thousand rows, you should be able to do it. Now I'm going to automatically translate words. So here's the system prompt. You are a helpful assistant designed to translate. Give me only the translated word. If there is no translation, just don't mention anything. Provide only the translation. And here is the prompt. Claude prompt translate to Tamil and then and the first cell. Next providing the model name. The system message is this one and then clicking enter. That will automatically give the translated. I'm going to fill all the remaining and now everything got translated. Now this is another task. I have a list of countries on my left hand side. I'm going to ask equals Claude give the currency for this country with the system prompt and clicking enter and this will automatically give for Australia, it's Australian dollar AUD. I'm going to drag that down and also asking Claude to recalculate selected cells. I believe sometime when we try to request multiple API requests at the time, that's when it is not able to process the request. So the recalculate selected cells automatically call the API till everything passes. I can see here it's working. That means even if it says deferred, the cell is trying to call the API again and it's trying to fill those values, which you can see here. And now it's all done. Manually it takes a lot of minutes. Imagine there are 100 countries. Manually it takes probably an hour or two, but in minutes, everything will get filled using AI. Next, if you have a list of products like this, smartwatch, wireless headphones, espresso machine, electric toothbrush, then you can ask Claude to write product description and choose this cell and then click enter. I'm going to drag this down as well and extension Claude recalculate selected cells. And I got the product description filled in few seconds. This is amazing. Next, imagine you have a lot of phone numbers like this, which is not correctly formatted and you're telling Claude format this number. And in the system message, you are telling that this is the format I need and you're choosing the cell A2 and then click enter. I'm going to drag that extension Claude recalculate selected cells. And now everything is properly formatted. Imagine how much time it'll take to format these numbers in this format. But this took only a few seconds. Next is sentiment analysis. I have a list of tweets where I'm asking Claude analyze sentiment and then clicking enter. It says neutral. I'm going to drag that down. Extensions, same as before, recalculate selected cells. It is working. It's all done now. So you can see the sentiment analysis, positive, positive, negative, positive, frustrated, neutral, neutral. I'm going to show a few more examples. For example, if you have information like this and you want to extract only the email address, same as before, if you ask Claude, then you'll get email address like this. If you want to extract only the names of the person, still you should be able to do it. You should be able to anonymize the data from this to this. You can automatically mark or correct your question paper if it is in Excel format. 
and much more you can do with this automation tool. I'm really excited about this. This can speed up your work with Google Sheets, with the power of AI. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.